and, and art. And while I was writing in Mallorca, I also went to art classes. I know that you might <laughs> recognize that as happened, but I went to art classes uh, with um, Gonzalo, Carlos Gonzalo, who is uh, an Argentinian artist. He a most marvelous, eccentric character, and he is responsible for my art. I just have to say that. And what he would do in the first art class was he would say, Deirdre, what do you want to paint? He would paint maybe a tree. He would say, do not paint a brow. And do not paint it like a tree. He would please do not represent reality as well as like a photo. He says, that is not what art is. So, so anyway, I started off with him. I kept trying to see it become easy to be me. But she's no longer tempted by it. You know, she's looking out for me with a, a look of knowledge that she has learnt. And for me, she's also this still point of the turning world. So everything is moving around her, but she is sort of steady there. And I think when uh, the link I see with the secret wound and art is that you have to tap in to that creative source where you do not know what is going to come next. And that happens with writing as well as with art. And let's see, yes, and this is the other one which is the chalice in here. And it represents the world and inside the chalice you have a multitude of little business cards for me representing the identity of all the people that I've worked with in the corporate world uh, for so many years. But the chalice now is one. And the movement around it means that the chalice is the still point. Turning world. And we recognize this now. So this is this is uh, just to say a big thank you, you know, to Matthew. Because Matthew, you know, in looking at you know, publishing Eaton Burning you know, in 2015, just a wonderful person to meet and to work with and to be so supportive and to believe in you. And then also in working with Matthew with the uh, the secret brain saying that it was it's, it was really lovely that Dirty asked me to write a sample of the book because a lot of the book resonated with me um, and the themes and the characters and I like what I like about Dirty's writing is it's a, a, a lot about uncovering what's actually on the surface and there's not all, there's never just one meaning and that is I guess a theme that I carry through in my life is like it is as, as well as a theme in, in my song writing. Um, so I the song I wrote with the book I really connected with the loneliness throughout the book and the characters and Gertha and Addy and kind of and then I also had seen the alone painting, which I really thought was was beautiful. Um, and I think loneliness is something that I've always struggled with and it's something that I love exploring in my writing because it can be really, you know, it doesn't always, loneliness doesn't always have to be negative, you can write about, you know, how you got through the loneliness from one day um, and it's just a really interesting theme and yeah, this is the theme of it. Thank you. 